Sandwich Generation segment is sponsored by Hospice of Michigan. March is National Social Work Month, and each year the National Association of Social Workers celebrates the contributions of more than 700,000 social workers across the nation. Joining us today to share more is Hospice of Michigan social worker Quay Din. Welcome. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, so, you know, I gave a little tidbit about National Social Work Month, but, you know, mm -hmm. for you, what does it mean? Sure. So it's the one month a year that we are recognized for the work we do. Often we are in the background mm -hmm. um, doing the behind the scenes. So we are showcased this month um, and the work we do is um, represented. Yeah, and it's extremely important. And the theme this year is Generation Strong, which I think it, you know, it, it represents so many generations, but you know, mm -hmm. what does it mean actually? Um, we, as I said, yeah. uh, we've been around doing this abstract type work for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And um, we impact people's lives in many different ways. Yeah. Um, you just need to be in contact with one social worker and you'll know, um, you know, the ins and outs that yeah, we do. The impact, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. And so I did some research on you, and you work with, or you have worked with five nonprofit organizations, and you mm -hmm. are just, you're doing amazing. And you've been with Hospice Thank of Michigan you. for two years now? Getting close. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah. what inspired you or attracted you to becoming a social worker? Sure. My first brush with social work and a social worker yeah. was the one that came into my parents' home. Um, I think it was seven or eight years ago now. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother was on hospice mm -hmm. and the social worker came into our living room and just sat with my mom and her seven siblings and they, we were all frantic figuring out how to um, navigate this journey yeah. that none of us had been on before. The social worker was so calm and she was such a pacifist yeah. um, with all the, um, the emotions. Yeah that were going I, on. Of course, and so that's where you come into play. And you know, working in a hospice type setting, you know, working for Hospice of Michigan, what has it been like? Um, every day is different. Uh, of course. Yep, you, you wake up in the morning, you don't know what you're going to encounter. Mm -hmm. And I love the variety. Um, people are opening their doors and their lives and their hearts to me. Yeah. And um, having that trust means so much. Yeah, of course. And you know, I think, you know, coming from you, you know, what has helped you the last two years? You know, what are kind of some tips and tricks that have you think that work best for families that are going through such a tough time? Sure. I guess um, the biggest thing I have learned in these last two years is it's so important these last moments um, to just be with your loved one. Yeah. Um, there's so many roles that you could play at end of life you are a caregiver, you're the messenger um, to the rest of the family. Um, there's just so much, you're the planner. Mm -hmm. um, and I want everyone that I work with to just be, just be the daughter, yeah. uh, be the son, be that person that your mom or dad or grandmother needs of you course. to be. Of course, and you know, what advice do you have for the next generation of social workers? You know, because I'm sure it's, it's a, you know, it's a very important to be that, you know, I guess security blanket and try to really help this family get through, mm -hmm. like I said, like a very tough time. Yep. Um, my advice for future social workers is just um, realize how lucky you are yeah. to be welcomed into these people's lives. Yeah. It's a privilege. Well, yeah. Well, thank you so much. And if you want to learn more about Hospice of Michigan, you can visit our website, 13onyourside.com.